Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn the printf function in C programming. So why do we need this printf function? It's just that when the program needs to communicate with the user, like if the program wants to take some data from the user or give some data or some information to the user, in such cases we need to display data on the screen. And for that we need a function and that is printf. Now see the syntax of printf function here. So write printf and inside parenthesis, inside double quotes, you write whatever data you want to print. And never forget to add a semicolon at the end. And what you have inside this double quotes, it will be printed on the screen. Now this printf is a function from the header file stdio.h. So it is important that you include stdio.h header file in your program if you are going to use the printf function. Now let's see an example program. So we are going to print welcome to the C programming using printf function. And so we must include stdio.h header file first. And in main function we have the printf statement and inside double quotes we have welcome to the C programming and entered with a semicolon. So when the program executes, it will print whatever is inside the double quotes and here it will be welcome to the C programming. And now let us discuss about the return value of printf function. So a printf function will be returning the character count. So say this example here and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 characters here. So 5 will be the return value of this particular printf function. And see another example and here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. 11 characters we have and that will be the return value and remember white space is always considered as an individual character so that will also be counted so here the return value will be 11 and not 10. Hi guys, now you can get a lot of features in the official log to base 2 website easy registration and login process and once you log in you can access a lot of amazing courses you can watch the visual tutorials you can see the examples solve puzzles and finally practice problems all in a single page visit www.log2base2.com where learning is fun and beautiful and don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this